the Amber Alert on Zara Baker would cancel today, and the decision to focus this investigation from a missing child or abducted child will turn into a homicide investigation. The search is happening right now. They hit on a wood chipper in the family's backyard several days ago, and apparently they did the same at a wood chipper at the location they're searching again tonight. Huge turn of events here in the case of missing 10-year-old Zara Baker. Investigated as a homicide. Positive alert for the presence of human remains. Scent of human remains in two cars. Zara was last seen sleeping in her bed early Saturday morning. Her dad reported her missing 12 hours later. Mr. Coffee, you like being in control. Now who's in control? We have your daughter and your pot-smoking redhead son is next unless you do what is asked. One million unmarked will be in touch. Alisa Baker committed to writing the ransom note. I don't know, it's like I knew this day was going to come. The Amber Alert on Zara Baker would cancel today. And the decision to focus this investigation from a missing child or abducted child will turn into a homicide investigation. With that status change, information related to this case will be limited to only breaking developments. I want to thank the media for getting this information out about the Zara Baker case. And again, we need the public to come forward to help solve her case. I've got to tell you what I've learned today about the life this little girl was leading behind closed doors is very disturbing. We are taking your calls live, and right now I'm going to go to Kayla Rodenberry, former friend and neighbor of the Baker family, <laughs> joining us in Hickory, North Carolina. I believe I've got Kayla with me now. Kayla, can you hear me? Yes. Kayla, thank you for being with us. Kayla, what did you observe about the little girl, Zara? How was she treated? Um, not so great. Um, Please be specific. Um, she used to get made to walk all the time um, on a prosthetic. And if you wouldn't walk right, she would get punished. And um, it's just different things like... Um, her mother, you know, broke her hand by spanking her um, when she hit her prosthetic. Now, um, isn't that the time, was, Brittany, that, was it you that observed the stepmother's hand was red and it was hurting her? And at first she made up a story, but then later she said she was trying to beat Zara and instead hit the little girl's prosthetic leg? Yes. Did you ever observe Zara with a black eye or bruises? I did one time, but I was told that it was where she was going through her, uh, she had went through her chemo and stuff that her eyes got like that. Tonight we are learning stories of this little girl being locked in her room for days on end, only allowed out five minutes at a time to eat to school with black eyes and bruises, stories we're trying to confirm tonight of the father, the biological father sitting by while a stepmother, let me just say, disciplined her, and now the little girl is gone. Where were all the friends and relatives when there was a chance to speak out and do the right thing? That chance is gone. Thank you.